Hello and welcome back to Direct Capital Channel. Welcome to today's video on how to draw trend lines and understand some basic price action analysis. So before we dive in, let's talk about what price action is. It's a historical transcript of human fear and greed. Fear going to the downside and greed going to the upside. So it's very important to just understand that psychology is really embedded in the price action of any chart that you look at. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to chart and outline this psychology so that you can navigate this psychology and use it to your advantage when trading in the cryptocurrency markets. And of course, these principles are applicable to different types of markets, the cryptocurrency markets, the FX and equity markets, because fundamentally, these principles are governed by human psychology. So let's dive right in. As we look at this price action on the chart, the first thing that springs to mind is this high right over here. So this is essentially where people were selling. Whenever price went to this price point right over here, this is where people started selling. But then we started to see that a peak was much lower compared to this peak. So essentially speaking, people started selling at a lower price whenever they got the chance to sell. So the people here who sold, they might have bought right over here or even over here. The people who sold right over here, they essentially sold at a really good price. But afterwards, people were willing to sell at a lower price and then again at a lower price right over here. So this seems a little bit counterintuitive because why would people want to sell at a lower and lower price every time? Because after all, we're seeing a high over here, a peak, a lower high compared to this high, and then another lower high compared to this high. So essentially speaking, we are seeing a series of lower highs. So the best way to just outline that is to draw a trend line. And we're gonna do that right now. So let's select the trend line tool. Let's apply this trend line towards the top of the candle, towards this candle as well, to just outline the top of this candle right over here as well. So we're going to be covering all these different peaks, all three of these different peaks. And I'm just going to change the color to black so that's a little bit clearer. And I'm just going to adjust this trend line a little bit better so that it captures all these different peaks. So this is the first high. This is going to be the first high that we outline. And then we're going to have this high over here, which is the lower high and then another lower high right over here. So this is the series of lower highs right over here. So why are we seeing this psychology in the price? Why are we seeing this sort of declining tendency in price action? So let's try and understand this using an example. So let's say we bought over here. We're gonna buy A on BTC at around this time before price actually appreciates towards the upside. So we buy over here, price goes up and we're in profit, we're enjoying ourselves, we're still holding the position, but then people start to sell over here and then we see a lot of sell side action to the downside. So we've actually lost our profit and then we're suddenly in loss once price goes to the downside and we're actually really not feeling good about our position anymore. We were feeling really good about our position when we bought here, we were in profit, we were enjoying profits, but then we lost all those profits and now we're actually in a loss because we're still holding onto that position. So essentially speaking, Whenever we're in this downtrend and holding a position, that's not a nice feeling to have. And then we start to make promises to ourselves. You know what, the next time that price goes to the upside, I might just sell at that price point because I want to just sell in whatever profit that I can get. And the thing is, a lot of people are thinking the same thing. They are probably also in loss and they're thinking to themselves, I should have taken this chance to sell over here, but I didn't, but if I get another chance to sell in profit, I'm gonna take it. So when profit naturally goes towards the upside, people sell over here, which is why they won't wait for price to reach this level because it might not. This is what people believe that it might not reach this level again. So they sell at a lower price. And this is essentially the psychology that repeats right over here because people who had the chance to sell here and sell here didn't. 
they're going to think to themselves, all right, I'm just going to sell in profit. Once I get that chance, I'm not going to lose that chance again. And they sell here. So that's the psychology of this trend line. People selling at lower and lower prices because they missed out to sell at a higher price before and they don't want to miss that next opportunity again. They want to learn from their mistakes. So they end up selling at a slightly lower price than before as evidenced by this trend line. So let's go ahead and draw another trend line, but we're going to do this on this side right over here. So this is going to be one low. This is where people tend to buy and this is going to be another low. But the way we're going to apply the trend line is going to show to us that if we apply it from candle to candle, we're going to notice that this trend line is in fact a higher low. So it is quite subtle, but this is one low and this low is slightly higher than this low right over here. And I'm just going to use a better example to just show this to you. This is a low right over here and this is a higher low. And this is a better example in terms of showing that, but what I wanted to show you here is that this is a subtle higher low. So compared to this low over here, this is a higher low. And essentially speaking, the psychology here is that people who wanted to buy at this price point, but didn't for some reason, whether they were preoccupied with work or they had second thoughts and they removed their buy orders, the people who wanted to buy over here and then saw price appreciate towards the upside, they thought to themselves that, wow, I should have bought this. Why didn't I buy? The next time that price revisits that level, I'm definitely going to buy and I'm not going to have second thoughts and I'm going to profit this time. And this is essentially the psychology that happens over here. People start to think to themselves that they're not going to miss out on this opportunity. They're going to want to buy this. They get that second chance at redemption and a lot of people feel that way. They have the same sort of predicament as before. They missed out on this rally, but they don't want to miss out on this rally. So they buy over here as well. So this is a higher low. This trend line showcases to us this psychology that they are even happy to buy at a slightly higher price than before. And of course, in this example right over here, this is even more pronounced, right? This behavior and this psychology is so much more pronounced because right over here, people who missed out on that rally will be happy to buy this dip at a premium. They're happy to buy at a higher price so as so not to miss out on another chance to profit. So this is a very pronounced higher low tendency compared to this one, but nonetheless, this is still the same psychology. It's just that in this higher low, it's a very subtle psychology, whereas here it's very much more emotional and pronounced as a result. And you'll probably notice that as we cover these trend lines, we've actually built a pattern using these trend lines. This is essentially a very standard technical analysis pattern called a wedge. We see wedging price action right over here. So this trend line shows to us that there is a series of lower highs. We know the psychology here because people are happy to sell at lower and lower prices. Whereas here we have a higher low trend line that is just showcasing to us that people are happy to buy at higher and higher prices as well once they get the chance. And of course, this higher low just showcases to us that this psychology can be pronounced or subtle. So this is a pronounced example and this is a subtle example of a higher low. So this wedge, this pattern showcases to us a psychological story of people selling over here and experiencing fear towards the downside and then greed towards the upside. But this greed isn't as strong as before. And then we see fear again to the downside greed towards the upside and then fear again. So this entire wedging structure, this wedge, this pattern is a story of human psychology of emotions in the market. And as long as you're able to read this historical transcript of fear and greed, this psychological story using trend lines, you'll go very far in navigating the market and using this sort of crowd psychology to your advantage. Because this pattern is the home of that psychology that we've been talking about throughout this tutorial. But once we see a breakout from this structure, from this wedge, we now know that this psychological story is now over. And now Aon, BTC, the altcoin that we're looking at right over here, 
is ready for a new psychological story. And this is exactly why a new trend emerges because the psychology changes. People's buying and selling behaviors change once we are outside of this structure. And this of course gives way to new buying and selling behaviors and a new trend altogether. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Please drop a like if you like this video and of course subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'm more than happy to share more trading tips. And of course, if you'd like to learn more trading tips, check out the trading tips playlist on my channel. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Rekt Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak soon.